uh, hello all so this is module 1 basics and we are learning about the cyber ethics on this video so let's go with the concept of hacking and see why we need security so there are some points I would like to elaborate here in the video so the evolution of the technology focused on ease of use the first thing is uh, everything is going easy nowadays because technology is coming lots of good technologies is coming and everything is going to be easy but to making the things easy we are making the backend very complex and whenever there is a complex system there is a mistake done by human so due to those mistakes there are security loopholes are also coming so this is something we need security of those complex technology those complex infrastructure as well as now the things are getting very easy now like hacking is getting very easy for some systems nowadays so for that also we need security so well if you're talking about security it's a uh, always a need and it's something uh, we need always uh, to make secure inf information and to make secure our data well so let's go ahead and learn about the physical assets and digital assets so when you're talking about a physical assets it's like gold cash and whatever jewelry you have and if you're talking about your digital assets it's something like id password uh, your you know your uh, bank account detail your facebook your whatsapp detail those are your digital assets now let's go with the security triangle so security triangle is very easy so whenever you are talking about functionality when there is lots of functionality in any app the system get complex and there may be chances of security loopholes due to the lo lot of functionality but if the thing has a very less number of functionality there may be less number of security loopholes for example there is a website and website is having static pages about us pages contact us pages and many uh, you know few different pages then um, might be site is not having any vulnerability but if the site is dynamic having login pages registration pages download pages upload pages that then my uh, then might be there would be any security vulnerabilities so just like this security triangle is working and uh, uh, if we're talking about hacking and uh, if you're talking about hacking let me tell you hacking is very simple uh, in a very simple manner hacking is nothing but uh, breaching of you know into any system uh, and unauthorized or you know with the permission and uh, authorized way to get into any system or you can call it also another way I would uh, what I call hacking is uh, its innovation so whenever you break into something you innovate something new so for me hacking is an innovation because uh, if you see we are using Windows 10 right now Windows uh, XP was there so from Windows XP to Windows 10 there there have been a lot of evolution in technology and it's all just due to the hacking because people have always break the technologies and for after breaking the technologies you know we invented something new so hacking is something uh, connected with the innovation now what about cracking cracking uh, you know uh, what I say is the uh, terrorism uh, like just like terrorism so whenever some people learn hacking skill and use those skills for malicious purpose that thing is known as terrorism now uh, let's talk about hacking procedure so it's a try 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 till you get success it's common uh, you know concept about as well uh, about your life it's about your hacking so hacking is something you always need to try and you have to try till you get success so because uh, I have seen a lot of people try into hacking but whenever they don't get success they live the field like hacking is something tough it's like none of their use but I must say when I was in mining and I started it it's something a good feel and you have you have to try it and even I am trying even I am learning nowadays uh, about new technologies about new hacking techniques I'm uh, researching over a lot of things so you you always have to try in hacking now 
can hacking be ethical yes definitely it's an ethical thing because uh, in my sense hacking is not a crime it's if you're learning something it's not a crime but if you're learning something and using those uh, your knowledge for a malicious purpose for a bad purpose then it's a crime so just like karate or martial art you learn martial art for your self defense purpose but if you are learning martial art to beat someone to your friend or someone else uh, with a bad purpose that's you know that's a bad thing so hacking is ethical and there is no nothing like ethical hacking or hacking it's just hacking okay now types of hacker so when you are talking about types of hacker we have coders admin script readers so coders are those who uh, you know uh, revise the methods and create tools those uh, these tools are available in the market and uh, these are the real hackers basically if you if you know the concept of hacking and you got a vulnerability and you can exploit that vulnerability and you made a tool for that then you are falling into the coder category but if you don't know uh, you know if you don't uh know how to create a tool and you just use uh, just you just know the concept and you got the tool from the internet and use that tool then you are the admin so if you don't know about the concept and you just hit and try just like a monkey then you are a script kitty so never be a script kitty always be a coder now types of hacker the first one is the white hat then the black hat and the gray hat so white hats it's obvious the people who hack for good purpose those are white hat these are the professionals ethical hackers or whatever you know as a security researcher whatever you call them those people who work for the public who work with the public and you know uh, they are open to all they are known those are white hat now there are some people uh, whom you don't know like those uh, hackers who hack for fun who hack for uh, who deface website who hack credit uh, you know who hack uh, uh, website data who steal website data or, or or the people who hack for the bad purpose those are black hats definitely and now the last one is the gray hat gray hat are the mixture of white hat and you know black hat so now let's go with the essential terminologies which you will be using throughout this uh, course the first one is a threat so an action or event uh, that might be precise the security so a threat is uh, nothing it's a potential violation of the security it's just like a warning which we get when a uh, you know violation of security is done so the next part is the vulnerability it's existence of any weakness it's a uh, you know loophole in any design or implementation error which can lead to a security uh, threat that is vulnerability so the target of evolution it's one of the important point so an it system any product any component of this or either any subject it may be any website it may be any computer any network whatever that or any technology or any coding language so that particular thing is target of evolution against which we do our hacking you know uh, we do perform hacking so now the next is attack it's already known to you now the next is exploit so exploit is nothing but it's a defined way to breach into the security of any uh, it system or our target of evolution so what does ethical hacker do so simply ethical hacker gather the information about any target suppose we have a target to hack yourcollege.com so we will gather information about yourcollege.com from the various sources from the internet from using tools and all then we will gather all information in single place we will write down everything on our uh, computer we will write down somewhere else in the notepad and using those information we will try to find out which information is needed further for the exploitation for the gaining access into that system so when we will find uh, those information which are, which are important we will scan those information using the scanning phase and here 
we will learn uh, here we will find out the vulnerabilities also on those filtered information so suppose we got a vulnerability we will go with the third point that is gaining access so for the vulnerability we will start making an exploit or we will try to exploit that vulnerability using any public uh, available exploits now the next part is uh, reporting vulnerability now we have already got the vulnerability we have already exploited and we got the result that uh, vulnerability has been exploited or not so based on this we will make a report and we will report we will submit this report to the system admin or to the website owner uh, so this is something uh, a bug bounty procedure you can say or this is something of what ethical hacker do now about malicious hacker every process will be same expect uh, malicious hacker will not report the bug to the admin they will uh, try to maintain access in the fourth step they will maintain access means they will make some backdoor on your system for the further accessing your data always uh, whenever they want and the next is clearing tracks so just like mur after murder people try to clear their tracks try to clear their you know um, whatever the evidence is present there so it's clearing of evidence is known as clearing tracks so well, well about the clearing tracks is something clearing of logs file basically from the system or from the server because uh, logs are the digital evidence a hacker always le uh, leave on the system now the need of hackers we have already told about you now what more thing we, uh, you should know is uh, in the hacking we have some phases like prevention conduct and conclusion so in the prevention phase we make a formal meeting and uh, formal meeting and we sign contract with the uh, concert person from the organization in that NDA we basically sign that uh, how we will try to hack into their system and what will be the methodologies used and uh, how we will do the evolution and all so based on that we will uh, do the evolution te and technical report will be prepared on that also uh, in the conclusion basically uh, we will share the result with the organization so that uh, they can evaluate the result and take the corrective advice or action if needed now the next part is uh, about the security testing methodologies basically three uh, this is one of the common met methodology used in security testing one is the black box approach and another is the white box and then internal testing so in the black box approach we don't need any prior knowledge about the infrastructure or the website or whatever the target of evolution or whatever the subject is in the white box approach we have the complete knowledge about that infrastructure that uh, website or code in the internal testing it's also known as gray box testing uh, we use the both of the method black and white it's a mixture of uh, this both method so in the internal testing we start uh, internal testing is basically done use uh, during the hdlc cycle software development life, uh, life cycle now uh, these are the uh, some of the famous name of the hackers kevin mcnee kevin paulson team burner and i think you must be knowing about the linux servers so how to get a ride of the attackers so one way is do not purchase a computer now i know if you have already purchased a computer do not apply for internet connection but as of now in india you are getting free geo i think you should you, you should not have your computer with the geo connection if you are already using that free geo 4g then kindly shut down your computer immediately and never turn it on so what i am going to tell you is you can prevent yourself from hacking but you cannot stop a hacker so best part is you need to learn hacking to stop a hacker so the only prevention is against everything is to unplug your computer and lock them away well so to catch a thief just think like a thief well whatever you have seen in hollywood about the hackers it's not like that in the reality hacking is something about innovation learning and lots of 
basic concept about the technology i would suggest to learn a lot about the basic technologies now what extra thing you need to learn before going into the further course is always learn programming because it will differentiate you from the script credits to the tool lover basically you will not love about the tool but you can make your own tool now the next is uh it will also help you to understand about the vulnerabilities it will help you to modify the already working vulnerabilities or to bypass uh, many firewall systems and all so what programming languages to learn if you talking about web application security i would suggest html javascript php this are the three major component or the common component you you can learn in the coding part if you are talking about exploits shell codes root kits malware i would suggest c c++ assembly is something you have to learn because assembly will help you a lot in shell codes and reverse engineering of any application or any software so if you are talking if you don't know about reverse engineering let me tell you reverse engineering a process where you extract keys on or where you make crack of any software uh, for building tools and scripts i would suggest python ruby and bash bash i will tell you in this course as well as so this was the basic idea about the concept of hacking in the next video we will learn more about the web technologies